Hey, Vanner fan or family. I have gum in my mouth, so sorry. <laughs> Let me tuck it under my tongue. Anyway, Uncle Homer took me into Walmart because I'm trying not to drive the van so much since it does have a few repairs that are needed. I needed to get some brake fluid for my brake master cylinder repair that's needed. And I was low a quart of oil. So we got that too. And while we were there, we kind of walked around and stuff. So I found this container, which is a cereal container. And it was $3.90 some cents. So what I'm going to be using it for, not cereal, let me show you. So I'm going to be using this to get rid of this bag that I have my cedar chips in. So let's just go ahead and dump the cedar chips in here and see if this is going to work. I can actually probably put more than this in there, but I have another bag of cedar chips in the back. I'll add to it later. So uh, let's make it happen. So I have been using my table that you guys saw me make. I've been using it not every day, but I use it a couple of times here and there. First, I want to see if this peels off. Yes. I don't know why they make these things so hard to peel off. Like, who wants that on their container? I don't. But this one peeled off very well. Yay! And now, we're going to take the top off and dump the cedar chips in there. Dump it, dump it, dump it. This was slim enough. So I went into the pet section and I actually found a pet um, container that's meant for pet food. That's a little, it was a little bit bigger than this. Um, so it was a little bit bigger than this, a little bit wider and a little bit longer this way. But it was eight bucks seven dollars and some change and I was like uh don't really want to spend that much so we went to the section where the kitchen stuff is and found the cereal container because I need something slim enough to fit next to the toilet on the side and then I wanted something that I could just you know shake 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 it in after I use the bathroom now granted it doesn't hold a lot so this is probably enough for a day um, or so a day, day and a half, because I sprinkle some on each time I use it. Every time I pee, every time I poop, I sprinkle a little bit on there. If I can get you straight. <laughs> so I do have a little bit more room where I could press this down some more and add some more in there. So, yeah, I think this is going to work. I'm excited to get rid of these bags, all these plastic bags next to my toilet. Like, I'm over it already, <laughs> you know? It's getting too hot, and because these plastic bags were kind of, um wide if you will they were like touching my arm when I pee and stuff and I'm like Ugh, the plastics touching me <laughs> so yeah anyway I think this is gonna work so I'm gonna put it in its place and show you where I put it there it is in its new home it fits perfectly next to the toilet in this plastic bin where the toilet sits and lives so it's perfect I'm so excited so yeah, completely nice, neat, pull it out, shake some on top, put it back. Bam. And I'll refill it every other day or so with some more cedar chips, which are, which are located up in my windowsill behind my plastic drawers. So let me show you another thing I found at Walmart that ended up being way cheaper than I thought it was. So I don't know if I told you guys, but my beloved Contango... This was full of water the other day, and it, it ended up um, tipped over, and when I picked it up, all the water was gone. So there's a slow leak, and I've tried tightening this, and it's what it is is it's, it's here. It's somewhere in here is where the leak is coming. So I've been on the lookout for a new water bottle, plus I wanted something bigger because I drink this up in like no time. So I wanted something bigger, and I really, really, really prefer having a straw 
really prefer having a straw. But it's really hard to find a big one with a straw that's not expensive. So when we were at Walmart just now, they had these, they were putting them out on display. It's Tall, T-A-L is the name brand. Double wall vacuum insulated stainless steel Ranger Pro. 24 hours for cold and 12 hours for hot liquids. So even though it's one of those tip up and drink ones, and it was 14 something on the display. So I, I did take it up to the front with me, but I was still leery about spending $15 on a water bottle. Like, uh, like I was tripping out about spending 12 on this when I bought it last year. So I'm like, uh, do I really wanna spend $15 on a water bottle? So when I got up there and I rang it, it rang for seven dollars. So then I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna keep that. <laughs> so I was like, I pretty much need to keep that because seven bucks for this big 64 ounce container, yeah, not bad. So even though it, you're supposed to wash these before you use them, hopefully I don't get sick, I did go into the subway inside of the Walmart and asked them if I could put ice in this and they let me put ice in it. So I did not wash this, but I'm going to use it. So it's full of ice right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, I wanna see how long this ice stays. So I'm not gonna drink out of it for 24 hours. So I'm gonna see if this ice is still ice and I'm gonna take this um, thing off of it but I'm gonna see if this ice is still ice this time tomorrow. So it's about, I don't know, one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm not gonna drink out of it until tomorrow at one o'clock or two o'clock. And I'm gonna report back and let you guys know if the ice stayed cold or whatever this melts into, if it stayed cold. So there it is, I took the thing off and here's the name brand if you wanna go to your Walmart and find one. Tall, T-A-L. And like I said, it rang for seven bucks even though the display said $14.96 or something like that. And uh, so it's got, it's got a nice big screw top, which is nice because you can put ice in it. See, it's full of ice. I put it to the brim. And I like the fact that it's metal. It's double sealed. So like with this with plastic, I'm not gonna worry about any issues. And this spout that you drink out of is also a screw top. So it also screws on, the, the threads are on the inside, not the outside. So this also screws on and off for drinking out of. So it's a nice, it's got a double way. So you can put, um, and I was thinking I could even drink hot tea out of this if I wanted to have hot tea one day, all day long and sip on it. So yeah, I'm gonna report back in the next video. So disrespectful wind. That's the first time it's done that today, so I must admit that, you know, it's better than it has been, <laughs> because we've had some really windy days, like the last three, four days. Anyway, tomorrow's video, I'll let you know how this turns out. I'm just going to sit it over here on the sink and just let it sit here and do its thing for the next 24 hours. Actually, it won't even fit on my sink. I'm going to put it on the little baby table. <laughs> it's too big to sit on the sink. And that's all that I got. So, other than my fluids, I will let you know how the repair goes. Uncle Homer said he'd help me do the brake master cylinder so that I didn't have to pay the nomad mechanic who's here in camp um, to do it. I can just pay him for the other repairs. So it's like, yay, that's one less thing I have to do. But we have to pull everything out and see if it's something that he can do first because he's replaced his brake master cylinder on his RV so if it's kind of similar situation then he can help me with that so I'm so excited so I hope you enjoyed this really quick really short daily dose and if you are enjoying these daily doses go on over to patreon because for a dollar a month you can get exclusive content and you can gain access to the podcast. That's right. I got a podcast. You don't know. You better ask somebody. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.